videos. That is the weirdest. I guess I have a candle. Huh. Hello, my name is Christy and I am a witch. A couple of weeks back, I posted this image to my Instagram stories and then on my page so people could share it. And then a couple of people messaged me and said, cool. How? So today I just want to cover a couple of different ways that you could use pumpkin spice in witchcraft. Because of the, some of the correspondences with the pre-mixed herbs that are within pumpkin spice, it is great for abundance. It's basically a pre-mixed abundance herb mix. Abundance could mean an abundance of joy, strength, food, life. Because many of the herbs in pumpkin pie spice also have money correspondences, you could use it for an abundance of wealth too. The first way is going to be the most obvious. Charm your pumpkin spice latte. It's that time of year. This is not pumpkin spice. This is Earl Grey. Good soup. Because all of the pumpkin spice drinks that come in seasonally to coffee shops contain dairy, which is something that I uh, actively try to avoid as much as I can, I'm going to be making my own and I will show you what I do. The one I'm going to be making is roughly inspired by the pumpkin cream cold brew from Starbucks. I also, uh, side note, like to add a lot of pumpkin and no sweetener most of the time, or very light sweetener, and that's because I often prefer the kind of earthier, more bitter taste. Pumpkin is, of course, optional. We're here for the spice. Stir up your cream or coffee in clockwise motions, either by spoon or by mixer, and focus on an affirmation or incantation for the abundance you'd like to attract. It may even be just repeating the word abundance in your mind or out loud. If you're out and about and you wanna do it with your uh, coffee cup while you're on the go, uh, the kind of more stealth mode may way to do this, make sure that the lid is on very good, you're going to stir it in clockwise motions so that the liquid inside of your cup is spinning in a clockwise direction and you can get virtually the same effect. If you are broom closeted, that is a great way to do it in public without it being super obvious. If you would like to uh, whisper incantations into your cup in public, that is up to you. You can. The next way to use pumpkin spice as a pre-mixed herbal blend is for candle dressing. I have two different videos on how to dress a spell candle and also how to read a spell candle flame, but in both of those I focus on chime candles. So here I will show you how I do that with tea lights or jar candles. I am first dressing my tea light with nine clockwise circles of coconut oil before I start patting on my pumpkin spice, which I also do in clockwise circular motions. You can sprinkle the pumpkin spice directly on top of it too if you're not too worried about messes or it coming out too fast. Tea lights and jar lights can often burn for pretty long times. So this is something that you could just burn periodically whenever you feel like you need it until it is totally burned down. You don't necessarily need to do it in a single sitting because you might be sitting there forever. If the abundance that you would like to attract is more wealth-based, you can use pumpkin spice in this little wallet charm. Write a word like abundance, money, wealth on a little slip of paper then dip your finger into some pumpkin pie spice and spread it over the word. Fold it up so that the word and the spice is contained. You can seal it with tape or string, but I'm going to just leave it as it is and put it directly into my wallet or my purse like this. There's distant barking. And finally, here is a super simple way to attract abundance into your house and all you will need is pumpkin pie spice. I've seen a lot of people do it with cinnamon and only cinnamon, but this is a pumpkin pie spice video, so we're gonna use this. All you need to do is stand just outside your front door with a very light dusting of pumpkin spice in your hand, invite the abundance into your home, and then gently blow the spice in your hand into your open front door into your home. A little goes a very long way. You do not need to have like a fistful of pumpkin spice. You just need a light like sprinkle 
and you're good. And be careful if you've got any little furry ones or human children running around. Just make sure that no one ingests any of it if they're not supposed to. No pumpkin spice for pets. If you don't have any little ones to worry about, you can leave that uh, pumpkin spice dusting before cleaning anything up for about a day to just let that sit in. And as you enter in and out of your home, little tiny bits of that energy or physical pumpkin spice will be carried with you into your home. If you are like me and you do not want your dogs to lick it off of their paws uh, because they spend all day sitting at the front door barking and you know that they're going to get in it, you can immediately sweep up or vacuum um, what I like to do since I have to do that is to then carry either the dustpan or the vacuum from the front of my house where I swept or cleaned and either sweep or clean moving backwards or just carry it through to the back door of my house just so that it has a chance to make its way all the way through even if it's in a dustpan. Gotta just find ways to make them work for everyone's safety. <laughs> There are plenty of other ways to use pre-mixed herbal blends in uh, witchcraft and magic, but these are just a couple of ways that I like to use pumpkin spice. These are a few of my go-to ways and I just wanted to share them with you. Now that it is full-blown pumpkin season, I, I'm all decked out. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you got something out of this video and I will see you in the next one. And cut.